Hello, let's do a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is the diffle, which is a word of any size. So I'm going to start with sizes for some reason. All right. Both words have an E. No Z today, unfortunate. Um, I'm thinking an ER word on the left, so let's just check for that. I think something like toner is a good check. It is an ER word. OK. So let's deal with the, let's deal with the ER word first so that we don't run out of guesses for that. Um, it could be A-E-R, it could be E-E-R, or U-E-R. Let's look for an A-E-R word and get some good letters at the same time. Um, something like caper might be good. OK, it is A-E-R. OK, so. I think we might want to do a filler to find out what these other letters are. I think we want to get an M, a G, an L. I think that's enough. Um, glum, but with another letter in it. <laughs> uh, I could do, hmm, what can I do? Never mind. I can't do what I was thinking of. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing bugle, which I hope is L-E, because I want to try the E at the end on the right word. Wow, that helped the right word. And also, I got an L on the left word. All right, well, what is this right word? Uh, we have a lot of letters. Um, it's probably, oh, it's not rogue, but it's got to be O-G-U-E. Vogue, then? Yes, OK, so now we get one more filler if we need it. We might need it. Um, Okay, let's look at Ailer words first. All right, I don't. Okay, let's look at <laughs> what is it? Laker. I don't know about Laker. Um, that's not usually how you spell law lawyer. Layer would be great. Honestly, I think it's layer. It is nice. Okay. I think that was a good solve. And layer Vogue is a pretty good it's a pretty good start considering the starts we've had to do in Cordal lately. So let's do layer Vogue for Cordal. Okay, so what did we learn? We have another e ER word, so let's try timer for that. There's an I, but it's not. Okay, so it's probably something like dryer. But let's not work on that word right now. Um, bottom right, T A, oops, T A, what, like something, something, wait, T A G O maybe? Tango, yes. Um, this is an A, one of those classic A Y words where Y is at the end. Um, like happy or. Plenty of other words. Sassy, even. Um, there's a lot of them. I'm trying to think of one that uses three letters. Um, wacky. I think wacky is not a bad guess here. There's a C. Interesting. I think it must start with C then. C A. There's a C in the top left as well. I don't know what to do on the top left. C A something something Y. What would that be? Like caddy? It's possible. Cabby? I'm still thinking dryer here. Um, is there any way? I guess dryer will test for caddy, so let's do that. Okay, dryer was the answer, so that's perfect. And and it's caddy. That's perfect. And this is CR something something E. And there's not a second R. Well, it's got to be crepe. Nice. That was a good solve, too. I enjoyed that one. OK. Cool. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Black Widow, type of spider, or alternatively, a um, Marvel character or alternatively a movie name hmm. 
I think they want us to put this together, but I, I don't. Categories generally don't work that way. Last time we had Blade, it was the movie or the the vampire character. I think it was the movie itself. Okay, Storm, Black Widow, and Flash are superheroes, but they're from different. Like Storm and Black Widow from Marvel, Flash is DC. Feels like a trap to me. Let's look. Let's look at something else. Eel, shark. So things in the but animals that go in water. Animals that live in water. Catfish. All right, we've got insects, mite, and tick. Huh. Um. <laughs> wow, I don't I don't know. Cribs? MTV uh MTV shows, Cribs and Jackass? I think we're MTV shows, weren't they? I don't know what else would be. Tick was a superhero as well. The Tick? But usually it's The Tick, not just Tick. Superheroes named after in, uh, animals? I don't know. It would be Spider-Man. Wasn't Scorpion a superhero? I don't know. Sounds like it could be a superhero. Maybe a villain, though. I got nothing here. <laughs> what are we doing? I still think Jackass and Cribs go together, but I don't know what else goes with it. Like reality shows, right? Is Catfish a reality show? I don't know. It seems like it could be. I'm not exactly up and up on all the reality shows. Would State be in a reality show? I don't see how. I know there's Shark Tank. I don't know about Shark. Okay, it really feels like Storm and Black Widow need to go together. Okay, how about... How about um, Superheroes without the. Um, I don't see it. Hmm. I don't even know what to try. Just char? What's Perch all about? No idea. All right, I want shark, eel, and catfish to go together, but I don't know. Maybe char is a kind of fish? Or a perch? I 
I don't know, of these perch sounds the most fish-like, so let's give this a try. One away. It makes me think perch was wrong. I'm completely lost on this. Am I even going to get one category done? I could try char with it, but I don't know if I should be wasting all my guesses on this. Blade. What are the other MTV shows or, or reality shows? Um, maybe Catfish is a reality show, in which case we'd have eel, shark, and perch together. Hmm. Is Black Widow a reality show? Sounds like something you might name a reality show after. What about like Tick, Scorpion, Spider, and Mite as just like similar animals? I don't know. I don't know what makes them so similar, but I'm going to try this one. Arachnids. Okay. Ticks and mites are arachnids? I didn't actually know that. Um, I kind of knew scorpions were arachnids. Let's see. But I wasn't sure about that. All right, so I still think Flash and Black Widow and Storm might go together. Um, even though Flash is a DC superhero. Like, Blade's also a superhero. So let's give that a try. There you go, superheroes. Very generic. Um, okay, so... Eel, shark, perch, and catfish, I think, were one off. So which of these, of these, I feel like catfish feels like um, catfish feels like something that might be a reality show. I don't know what state would be for a reality show, though. Hmm. They're all MTV shows. Okay. At least I was right about the category. But then I switched it to reality, but I was saying MTV for a while. And then these just must be like water dwelling animals or something. They're just fish. Okay. Well, uh I got it. That was that was really tough though. I don't know. I didn't know half the things in here. I just sort of guessed. <laughs> but <laughs> Managed to do it. Um, how'd you do today? All right, let's do Diffle. I know the screen looks empty, but there is a little circle there. So we need to start with something. Um, let's... Uh, hmm. Something from Connections, maybe? Let's start with Scorpion. That sounds fun. Sorry, doing thumbnail face. Um, okay, so what this means is that there is a P and an O. The ordering is, is a little bit confusing, but there is a C and an I, but they aren't ordered this way. But the P and the O are, but we don't have the starter end at all. So it seems like we need to do something like maybe maybe the order is something like IPOC. I mean it could be. Um I don't know what to guess though. We know the O doesn't go before the P cuz this O is gray. The O goes okay, so the O goes after the P. The I goes somewhere else, the C goes somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, so this is kind of what I did. Um, what about something like in, no, I can't do an N. I was gonna say in place. I don't even know if that's like a single word. Um, <laughs> How 
How do you even do this? Uh, implode. Oh, implode doesn't work because there's no C. Could the C go elsewhere? I mean, the C could go like, it, we could go IPCO, if that's helpful. Um, I really don't know if Diffle's gonna make a good thumbnail because it's mostly white. <laughs> so I might just use a different puzzle for the thumb. Um, sorry, I'm thinking about my thumbnail because I can't, I don't know what this word is. Definitely the O goes after the P. So we've got P and O, and then we got a C and an I somewhere. The I does not go between the P and the O. So maybe we've got something like P O C I in some way. We know, oh yeah, it could start with P actually. It doesn't end in O. Okay. Um, what if we do police? I think that works. Okay, so what we learned, I'm gonna just double check. Yeah, okay. Last time I did my dark mode filter, not last time, the first time I did Diffle in the daily game series, I used my dark mode filter to make it dark mode and it broke the clues, um, which is pretty funny. But I think we're, I think we're fine because the dark mode filter is not on. So there's something between the P and the O, probably PLO, but we don't start with P. And then the I is not between the O and the C. So I think maybe we're something along the lines of something I, P, something O, sorry, sorry probably P, L, O, and then C. What? Um, I like the P, L, O. I like putting the, the L after the P. Uh, the C needs to go after the O at some point. We haven't tried it directly after the O, so it could. It doesn't have to be. But no E in the word, interesting. Uh, this is really hard. We could do lock. Is there like some kind of lock? tip lock or <laughs> I don't know you see what I mean like it feels like there should be some form of lock um, imp lock We could start with I. I just don't know that that's helpful. It, it's tempting to kind of filler it by just guessing lock or even implode just to see if we're on the right track. I don't have to play in hard mode, obviously. Um, I'm just trying to, how about quit, quip, lock, quip. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna guess lock. All right, and it does go L-O but the C is not after the O. So there's something in between. So it's probably I, P, L, O, something C. And it doesn't have a K. Ooh, how, I don't think we would want us to end with C, would we? All right, we know the L, O, so you can see the clue that they connect. Now, let me just show you that this is gonna be annoying, but with my dark mode filter, you see how the connection is removed. <laughs> So unfortunately, I can't use the dark mode filter. Um, look, look at the LO, this LO here. They're, they no longer have the connecting um, green. So you can imagine it was a very difficult puzzle without that. Um, I 
All right, there's something between the O and the C. But we know I does not go between. Well, we know I doesn't go between L and C. Do we know that I, I the problem is I don't quite know how this cluing works. But I mean, we could potentially do P L O I C maybe. It's something like I could guess something like logic and just find out. Why don't we do that? Okay, so the I does not go between the O and the C. I thought, well, we knew the I and the C weren't connected. Okay. We, at very least, we knew that. Okay, I don't think we learned anything. We learned there's no G, unfortunate. Um, that was probably a wasted guess. But I'm just, I'm just confused. How about M? The O and the C aren't connected. I'm gonna do implode to see if that's on the right track. Should have done that a while ago. Okay, yeah, that, oh yeah, I definitely should have done implode a while ago. Okay, so we don't start with I. Is it something like diplomatic? Close. What? Diplomat. It doesn't end in C. We, we actually knew it didn't end in C. Darn it. Making all sorts of hard guess, but diplomatic helps so much. But what is this? Diplom. Wait, what? Oh, diplomacy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a hard word. Sorry, I just smacked my mic and I really hope that didn't hurt your ears. Um, wow, that's a tough word, diplomacy. Okay, well, I think I made some silly guesses here, but we did get there. That's a tough word. Okay, well, um, seven words used, 49 letters used. Probably could have done better, but there we go. Let's do the polygonal. Make sure we're an expert. We are not. There we are. Okay, so let's look at ING because this feels very, very plausible, like... Come on. T here, maybe? Ah, give me something. Um... Linting? Well, apparently linting's or okay, so it is this, just not those letters. Um it's only a matter of time. So it's not L. Yeah, it's a good thing I tried the L, because I think L and T are my the most likely to go here in my mind. Um winding is fun. The long and winding road. Ah, we're in the inding trap. Um Minding? Finding. Oh no. Finding. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see. Inding. Binding, finding, minding, winding. Rinding, sin sinding, and tinding were also possible. Uh, not tinding though, because we did linting. We could have done rinding, so we could have lost. If we had just done random letters, we could have lost. But luckily I don't think I, I don't think rinding and signing are real words, <laughs> so that's fine. Wow. I don't think I've actually I haven't lost an actual polygonal. Um I have lost the mini. Alright. Speaking of mini, here we go. What? Um, um, maybe ease. Peeve, maybe? It is ease, but not peeve. I feel like I've had this before. Um, how many more words could there be? Oh, 
What? I could be at this all day. I don't oh geese maybe? Okay. Thank you for being geese. <laughs> Let's look at what the words are. Added allele assess deer? Really? Like Don John Deere tractors? I get the feeling that deer is in ordinary words because it's finding the proper noun deer for John Deere tractors. Um, error is fun. Geese, peeve, and reeve. Apparently reeve is a word, but after peeve, the only common word was geese. Um, I don't know any of these. So putting e there was a good call, I think, because that's half the words. Interesting. Assess. I didn't think about using S. Added is fun. Cool. Well, that was nice and quick. Let's do the symbol. Start with glaze. Ooh, okay. So I like to do mouse or house. Let's do rouse, actually. Getting the R is nice. All right, so E is at the end. It has to be. And then we have different letters where the R and U are. So we could do like... S O E if we wanted to, like shown. Why not? That's exactly what it is, but it's more like. It's more like. I don't know, S T O stove? There's another one? Um, I didn't think there was another one. Stoke, like you stoke a fire. Okay, there we go. All right, not too bad today. I mean, five is five. <laughs> Can't really complain, but... Yeah, like if you start with just... Like, let's say you start with stare or store or something. You, you might get confused by the symbols for a bit. Um, but you'd probably get it quicker than me anyway. In this case, it's pretty interesting. Stoke might not be a terrible start for symbol, to be honest. Well, now it's bad because it's already been Stoke, but something like Stove or Stoke, where you have a slightly uncommon letter and then the rest are common. That's what I tried. Like with Blaze, I picked two, like a semi-uncommon and a very uncommon. Anyway, let's do Fusel. Uh, we can't do Stoke because we have to repeat a letter. So let's do Stoop, which feels similar to me. All right, there's one O and it's here. There's a T. Let's try like froth, just to see if the T is there. All right, it's not. So let's try like, I can't do double O. Um, wait, could it just, no, yeah, we can't be store, okay. <laughs> um, trowel is fun. Oh, I think it's U out, wait. I thought trowel was a word. What's the problem? I really thought trowel was a word. I don't know what to do here. I can't think of a word. You'd think I could. I really thought it was going to be trowel. What's wrong with trowel? I'm going to do troll. All right, so the T is yellow here as well, because th this isn't telling us about yellows. There is no, well, if there's an R, it's not second. So there's no T here, 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 here. So we know the T is at the end. And then if there's an L, it's not here. Um, so what goes here? Not L. It could be an R still, which would be annoying. Um, but ORT seems to make some amount of sense. So does OUT, maybe we should try that. Um, these are gonna be alphabetical clues. We can't do shout. Um, what would we do? Like about? I guess that's not terrible. <laughs> Definitely not terrible. Wait, what's going on here? Abort, oh, so it was an R, wow. Okay, well about was definitely a good guess. That's for sure. Um, maybe I should have started. Ended up with the ORT there. I can't believe that I used R twice and, and still didn't learn that there was an R in the word. 
Whoops. Sorry about that noise. All right, let's do one more puzzle. We will do the blind fusel, and we can't start with abort because we need to put a vowel in the last spot. So is abor a word? Somehow abor is a word. All right, we have an O in the middle again. Um, let's test double O. Let's do stoop. Okay, so we start with a T, another O, or P. Um, I could try ovoid. That sounds fun. All right, it's not. Um, so this is a T or a P. Let's go with T, and then we don't learn anything else. So, I mean, there's really no reason to guess anything other than that. All right, so this is a P, and then this is an O. Um, so what do we have here? I don't like PL here. PLO? Is that possible? Wait, what what goes what goes between the P and the O? It's not a second O. And here we're gonna get greens and yellows as if we get we're not gonna be able to tell the difference between greens and yellows. Um It's not PUO. It can't be double O. It feels like it's got to be P L O. It could be P H O. What would that be like? Phony? It is phony. Wow. Okay. Wow, that was surprisingly limited. Very nice. Okay. Well, that I think I did well on the puzzles today. A diffle, maybe. I mean, I haven't. I don't do diffle very often. And to be honest, I don't quite understand the clues. <laughs> so, um, but I, I did do some guesses that were a bit odd. But we did get it, and that was a tough word. So. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself today. Connections was tough. Um, let me know how you did today. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.